What is an emotion? Origin The origin of emotions is in the chemicals induced by the brain and physiology. Components of emotion Emotion is a psychological state that involves three distinct components. 1. A subjective experience. 2. A physiological response. And 3. A behavioral or expressive response. Physiology in most cases, emotions involve bodily reactions. Yes. Like your heart races when you get excited. Emotions and feelings Although emotion and feeling are usually referred to interchangeably, there is a difference. Feelings are the physical and mental sensations that arise as we internalize emotions. A feeling is something that you experience internally, in your own mind and that other people can understand based on your behavior. Which comes first, emotion or feeling? To understand the chronology, in simple words, emotions come first, feelings come later, and then our mood develops from a combination of the feelings. Emotions make us human. Emotions are shared by all humans irrespective of their cultures and origin. Human beings are emotional beings. Our face is indeed the mirror of our soul and emotions make us human. Can you guess how many emotions and feelings a human being can experience? It's around 34,000. However, these emotions branch out of the six basic emotions, which are important for our day-to-day -day life for our protection, survival and achievement. So. What are these six basic emotions? They are 1. Joy or happiness 2. Sadness 3. Fear 4. Anger 5. Disgust 6. Surprise Which emotions are in majority? Pleasant or unpleasant? You see, except for joy and sometimes surprise, all others are unpleasant emotions. Hence, it is important for us that we recognize and understand emotions so that we can derive benefit from them instead of remaining in an unpleasant psychological state most of the time. How do emotions influence or impact us? As emotions directly influence our health, performance, well-being, motivation, sense of fulfillment, and decision-making skills, it's important to understand and manage them. Every emotion serves a purpose and provides us with some important information. Hence, MML prefers to differentiate emotions as pleasant and unpleasant emotions instead of positive and negative emotions. Now, let's learn more about the six basic emotions. Joy or Happiness Definition Of all the different types of emotions, happiness tends to be the one that people strive for the most. Happiness is often defined as a pleasant emotional state that is characterized by feelings of contentment, joy, gratification, satisfaction and well-being. Physiology Happiness is very apparent and can be expressed with a wide smile, dimpled cheeks and little wrinkles under our eyes. The physiological response can include body language of a relaxed stance, an upbeat tone of voice and a pleasant way of speaking. Impact Happiness has been linked to a variety of outcomes including increased longevity and increased marital satisfaction. Conversely, unhappiness has been linked to a variety of poor health outcomes. Happiness is inside us. Trying to find happiness outside us is the root cause of unhappiness. Sadness Definition Sadness is defined as a transient emotional state 
characterized by feelings of disappointment, hopelessness, disinterest, grief and dampened mood. Physiology When we are sad, our eyes may moisten with tears, we may drop and the corner of our lips may get depressed. The physiological reactions can include crying, quietness and withdrawal from others. Impact Sadness can often lead people to engage in coping mechanisms such as avoiding other people, self-medicating and ruminating on negative thoughts. Such behaviors can actually aggravate feelings of sadness and prolong the duration of the emotion. Sadness also serves a purpose. It offers intensity to life and makes us value the moments of joy. Although experiencing sadness for a brief period is alright, experiencing it over prolonged periods is not. Fear Definition Fear is the emotional response of an immediate threat. We can also develop a similar reaction to anticipated threats or even our thoughts about potential dangers, which is called anxiety. Physiology In a state of fear, our pupils are dilated. We may wear a grin that does not touch the eyes. The facial muscles are tensed, such as widening the eyes and pulling back the chin. Some physiological symptoms may not appear on our face and will still be felt like a pounding heart, shortness of breath and a hollow feeling in the gut. Impact Fear is a powerful emotion that can also play an important role in survival. When you face some sort of danger and experience fear, you go through what is known as the fight or flight response. Our muscles become tense, our heart rate and respiration increase and our mind become more alert, priming our body to either run from the danger or stand and fight. This response helps ensure that we are prepared to effectively deal with threats in our environment. Repeated exposure to a fearful object or situation can lead to familiarity and adaptability which can reduce feelings of fear and anxiety. Anger Definition Anger is a powerful emotion characterized by feelings of hostility, agitation, frustration and antagonism towards others. Physiology A narrowed eyes, furrowed forehead and frowned face typically are expressions of anger and physiological response can include sweating or turning red. Impact like fear, anger can play a part in your body's fight or flight response. When a threat generates feelings of anger, you may be inclined to fend off the danger and protect yourself. While anger is often thought of as a negative emotion, it can sometimes be a good thing. It can be constructive in helping clarify your needs in a relationship. And it can also motivate you to take action and find solutions to things that are bothering you. Anger can become a problem. However, when it is excessive or expressed in ways that are unhealthy, dangerous or harmful to others. Uncontrolled anger can quickly turn to aggression, abuse, violence, irrational decision making and health hazards. Anger has been linked to coronary heart diseases and diabetes. It has also been linked to behaviors that pose health risks such as aggressive driving, alcohol consumption and smoking. Disgust Definition
disgust is an emotional response of rejection or revulsion to something potentially contagious or something considered offensive, distasteful or unpleasant. Physiology Facial expressions of disgust includes wrinkling the nose and curling the upper lip. And a physical reaction can include vomiting or retching. Impact This sense of revulsion can originate from many things, including an unpleasant taste, sight or smell. Researchers believe that this emotion evolved as a reaction to foods that might be harmful or fatal. When people smell and taste foods that have gone bad. For example, disgust is a typical reaction. Poor hygiene, infection, blood, rot and death can also trigger a disgust response. People can also experience moral disgust when they observe others engaging in behaviours that they find distasteful, immoral or evil. This may be the body's way of avoiding things that may carry transmittable diseases and staying away from evil. Surprise! Definition Surprise is usually quite brief and is characterized by a physiological startle response <gasps> following something unexpected. Physiology a surprised expression majorly includes eyes and mouth wide open, arched eyebrows and jaw drops, and physical responses can include jumping back or screaming or yelling. Impact This type of emotion can be positive, negative or neutral. An unpleasant surprise, for example, might involve someone jumping out from behind a tree and scaring you as you walk to your car at night. An example of a pleasant surprise would be arriving home to find that your closest friends have gathered to celebrate your birthday. Surprise can have important effects on human behavior. For example, research has shown that people tend to disproportionately notice surprising events. This is why surprising and unusual events in the news tend to stand out in memory more than others. Research has also found that people tend to be more swayed by surprising arguments and learn more from surprising information. The Learning Hope you have learnt about the six basic emotions, how to read them, their purpose and their effect on us from this short video. MML wishes you all the best for your journey towards emotional intelligence. Keep watching MML's videos to enhance your life skills.